Hello, everybody. JWR here, and today I'm going over another one of the character appreciations slash depreciations. Don't mind me, I'm just making sure I'm getting ready for work. So, uh, fun times. But I'm going to knock this out. After I've done my scores, my score sheet, and tied everything up, which I do tend to tie stuff up. I found that this next character happens to be in a character appreciation file. As much as it may bother me, and as much as I may like to see that he wasn't, he is. Uh, it, it sucks to be my mathematics, but that's how it came out. The character I'm going on about right now is Leon S. Kennedy. Kennedy. Now, seriously. He has the same rap so far as Cloud strives to me. Okay? Two shakes, I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, whoop, whoop, phone. Be my phone. What I mean by this. Okay, what do I mean by this? Well, let's break it down. Most people say Sephiroth is more developed than Kefka, but if you break that down, Sephiroth is in one game, two games, sorry I forgot to add Crisis Core, so that's Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, that little Advent Children movie, the Kingdom Hearts game, well that's three games, and who knows whatever else he and Cloud happen to be in. I think Urgerherds, Urgerhides, Urger, it's a German word for a fighting game, I guess. And what does Dabs do with anything about Leon S. Kennedy? Kennedy. Well, what that all adds up to is people start nowadays ragging on Chris because Resident Evil 5 seems to be just like Resident Evil 4 with just a little bit worse story. But with co-op, something like that. You do realize that anytime you have co-op in a survival genre kind of game, that takes away from the horror aspect of it, of it in general. It just does. Gone. But again, what does all this add up to? Leon S. Kennedy. Kennedy. Well, simply put, Leon is in has more exposure than Chris. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he fucking does. Let's break it down, shall we? Chris Redfield. Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 5. Done. That's done. I'm not counting the Resident Evil movies. I'm not. I am not counting that. that that's two for Chris, right? That's two for Chris? Now let's look at Leon. Resident Evil 2? Resident Evil 4? Oh, wait. Wasn't there that Resident Evil, uh, what was it? Degeneration? Uh, yeah, there was, wasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. So that's even more Capcom ish. Yeah. There's a single. Yeah. What a little. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That doesn't mean anything. No, it just means he had, he was given a lot more time to develop the character, per se, for Leon. Now, don't get me wrong. It sounds like I'm going on a depreciation rant, but like I said, don't get me wrong. The way the character is set up is very straightforward. He's a very smart man. And the reason why he's in the appreciation file is because he puts logic together quickly, usually. He has to fight a monster. He breaks it down. Oh, great. It's a monster. Well, I guess after this, there's one less to worry about. Because, see, he mentally puts it together. Like, he knows he has to win. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. He has to put it down. He, he can sit here and argue and go, oh, what did they do this for? No, why? 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 Fuck what did it, Why? Just kill it. Kill it. Figure it out later. He's gotten that mentality. He's understood. Figure it out later. Even in the little CG movie of Degeneration. 
which seems a little bit closer to the games because it actually had oh, what's the word zombies. You know, mobile dead. You see what I did there? Um, even in that, he told the group that he was going with. He's like, "I'm going to take you and you, and that's it. That's it. I'm taking two people." Who the fuck I think he is? I'm Leon S. Kennedy, bitch. And if you got a problem with it, you got a problem with this. So they get down there. And the reason why I give them points on appreciation is because watching that movie, besides the whole gymnastic dash of free running at the last moment, beyond that, he kind of puts it in perspective to the group point blank. We're not taking all these people because they'll get infected, then you won't be able to shoot them, and they die, and then you die. So, what's the point? So I'll just take you two, get down there, and if you run across them, shoot them in the head. What? <sighs> shoot them in the head. And then, of course, he loads up his gun. And they're like, he can't be serious. Yeah, sure enough, they go down there. What happens to these two jack tarts? Do 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 do. Miss, are you okay? No, there's just a bunch of undead moaning. Undead moaning. And they get themselves trapped. What's he do? He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Headshots all around. Headshot for everybody. I got the bullets. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking, wow. Someone who's suffered this, and he actually retains this knowledge as opposed to many other characters, which would just. I mean, hell, people forget spells and freaking roleplay games when it goes from like six months or more. Holy shit. Hi, my name is Yuna, and I used to be a summoner with all this magic power of healing, and then all of a sudden, in a couple of years, I forgot. Everything, including a basic healing spell, because I never used it before ever again, like stubbing my toe or running into a wall or anything like that. Forget that mess. I don't care about healing spells. No, Leon's like, shoot it in the head. It should be common sense. If you shoot in the chest and doesn't stay down, you shoot in the head. Can't be any clearer than that. And you can tell most of my appreciation rants, it usually sticks on something that has a very strong aspect for that character. Tifa was her being kind hearted and actually being one of those characters that helped other characters as opposed to being all self centered and jackpacular, like nine tenths of the cast. As opposed to Aerith, who got the depreciation vote because, well, she's trying to make it look noble. But when you break it down, <laughs> it wasn't as noble as you think it was. Mega Man got an appreciation vote because he took, if he beats somebody, if he beats another android or robot or something, he takes their weapon and uses that weapon against their friends. That's just wrong and funny. <laughs> I'm Woodman. Yeah, I just beat Metal Man like, Five seconds ago, in another stage, and I got these saw blades, and you're made of wood. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Next. Oh, before I leave, get the wood power. Why well, I click on use for that somewhere. And so, in this case, Leon has what I call the power of common fucking sense. He does. Power of fucking sense. Common sense. What, what is this? It smells like some sort of uh, flammable liquid. It means they're about to purge this area by blowing us the fuck up. It's time to go. There's a big monster. Uh, that's a big eye. Life. <laughs> uh, my eye. <laughs> you bastard. Give me the eye. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you in the eye in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Leon is just that's what gives me the biggest vote of confidence on Leon. He has common fucking sense. It's one of those things that I said there 
And many characters, they don't have that anymore. It kind of went out the window with the big ass sword, the weird looking capes, the unnecessary buckles, things like that. Common sense seems to go down the more hot topic y you go up. Except unless you're holding a fucking Navy ship's plank in your hand to hit people. And then you're just. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to say. There's just. Common sense goes out the window. So, for the appreciation vote, Neon gets it because he has common fucking sense. He does. He just has common sense. He's not an emo like Cloud. He's not so omega self centered like Eric. He's not kind hearted like Tifa. He has some version of combat. Combat. What's the word? Combat logic. You see, see how I'm tying my videos together like this? He has some version of combat logic, like Mega Man. Why use my own power when I can use your friend's power to beat your ass? Why? So you see, Leon has the one aspect of common sense. It's something that many characters do not really have. I mean, let's be honest. Go through the list of, list of characters, you see they don't really have common sense. They don't. They just, they don't. And that was a major push for me. I mean, I looked through the first game that he was in, Resident Evil 2. I, I went through it, and there were some issues of common sense, but overall, he's driving, and let's just start with the beginning scene. He's driving, he has Claire with him. And he tells her, hey, there's a gun in the glove compartment. So she grabs it. And now he knows at least she's armed. Just in case something happens, you, there's a gun there. Something that most characters wouldn't even bother saying. They're just like, mm -hmm. You see, that was point one. He was very smart about this. He went ahead and told her, hey, there's a gun in the glove compartment. I'm, I'm, go I'm working on being a cop. I just got here. There's a gun in the glove, glove compartment. Boom, boom, boom. You know the situation he's for him. You know the situation he's in. Done. Already. Covered. No shock. No sudden surprises. No going through half the game going, oh, he was supposed to be a cop. He was never in the system. Hey, no fucking shit. He just got there. He just said he got there. He said at the beginning. No surprise. Like I said, yes, he did some dumbass things, but he also has common fucking sense. And that is a big, big plus. And that is what I'm going to leave y'all with. Leon S. Kennedy Kennedy has common fucking sense. Holy shit. Not many characters in Resident Evil have common fucking sense. They have combat logic or common sense. It goes one way or the other. They don't seem to have both like Leon has managed to hold on to. I mean, in 4, it's still common fucking sense. Of course, they changed it from one version to another. Shit, why was it turning to a first-person shooter at the rate it's going? <laughs> oh, wait, they have a game like that already. <sighs> first-person perspectives, my view, could be really, really scary if you do it right. And no company's really doing it right. Yet, yeah, they're getting close, but they all prefer the third-person perspective. Doesn't... I don't know, it just doesn't seem this... The same oomph. But, I'll leave y'all with that. So you now know where I stand with Leon S. Kennedy. Kennedy. Yes, I'm doing that every time because that's about how he seems. Especially if you watch the generation. He just... They try to make sure he doesn't do any of the hair tosses, but you know it's one of those things that he has to do. <laughs> so... I'm going to leave y'all with that. Leon S. Kennedy Kennedy has both common sense and combat logic that seem to work well together. His big thing is common sense. He seems to have it. He seems to put it together quickly. He seems to know how to apply common fucking sense. Of course, you watch the movie Degeneration, you kind of chuckle because Clarice is there. What would Leon do? And then she pushes random buttons. 
not sure if he would do that, girl. I'm just throwing it out there. Seems like you're just randomly hitting buttons. It just looked that way. Maybe you knew the system and the sequence better than the rest of us, but it looked like it was random. That's not exactly common sense. That's oh, I hope I hit the right fucking button. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Later. And I know I said I was gonna leave all that like 15 times, but eh, common sense. Uh, uh.